Even though Google Analytics 4 can automatically track your site search, there is no built-in report for that. But we can change this. In this video, I will show you how to build a site search report where you can understand what your visitors are looking for. For this tutorial to work, you must have at least some view search results events collected. This event is automatically tracked by enhanced measurement. So if you go to the admin section, then data streams, select your website data stream. And here in the enhanced measurement, you see site search, or maybe it's hidden somewhere right here, then technically you are kind of tracking that. Of course, it's possible that maybe your site search works in a different way, which is not supported by this feature. And if that is the case, then I will post a link to a tutorial below the video where I explain other methods how to track your site search with Google Analytics 4. So once you have collected some view search results events in your GA4 property, then you can build a report. To do that, you should go to reports, then library, and here click create new report, and then create detail report. Let's build a blank report. And then here we have to select dimensions, metrics, and we will also add some filters. Let's start with dimensions. Here we want to include the search term because every time the view search results event is tracked by Google Analytics, it also contains a search term dimension. Then click apply. After that, we can add certain metrics. For example, we can add the event count, which will tell us how many times each keyword was looked for. But keep in mind that if the visitor comes to your site, goes to the first page of the results of that particular keyword, the event count of that event is obviously one. But then if I go to the second page of the same search results, it will trigger another vSearch results event, which will increase the event count to two. That's why I think it's also useful to include total users metric because then you can see how many users looked for a particular keyword. And even if they saw, let's say the five pages of the search results, we would still have one total user. Then click apply. And now we have to narrow down this report to show us the data only of view search results event. Or maybe you have created some custom site search tracking, so maybe you will need to enter a different event name. But in my case, it's view search results. I can do that by clicking add filter, then select dimension, which is event name. And then here I can select exactly matches, but this is a demo property and I have not collected that event at least in the last several months. So I don't have any recent values. In my opinion, this is kind of annoying, but a workaround for that could be to use contains or maybe matches regex. Let's say that I will select contains and then I will enter view search results and then apply. Now I can see the data only of certain search terms. Since this is a demo property and it is installed on a demo website, I just have several nonsensical values, but you get the idea of how this works. And we know how many view search results events we tracked with each keyword. And then also we know how many users did that. Don't try to calculate the sum of these numbers and match this number because maybe one user looked for this and for this. In that case, we have one plus one, but it's still the same user. It's just one user in total. That's why this would increase just by one. And then we can think which charts do we need? I don't need the bar chart and the line chart might be useful. So let's say that I will keep it like this. And then we can save the report. We can call this site search, for example, and then click save. The report has been built. It was saved in the library, but now we have to add it to the sidebar and make it accessible to other users of the property. So let's go back. And then here in the library, we have collections. I have, for example, lifecycle, which is this collection. And inside that collection, I have topics. And then inside each topic, I have reports. So these are reports. In your case, the sidebar might look completely different because it's highly customizable. But let's say that I want to include site search report in the engagement section right here. So first I will edit the lifecycle collection. Click three dots right here and edit. And then here I select the detail reports and I can look for site search and this is it. And then I will drag it to the engagement section, for example, here, and then save and save changes to the current collection. 
then I can go back. And if I go to engagement, I will see that report right here. If you don't see it, then refresh the page and it should appear. And now everyone who has access to this particular property will have access to this report. And I can see what kind of keywords were searched for and how many times and how many users did that. And that's how you can build a site search report in GA4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.